be able to train like various martial arts would definitely have to have a zen like state of mind and this would like train him to enhance the zen Hi, I'm Belle, I'm a concept artist at Mighty Jacks and today we're gonna be talking about the making of Off-World G.I. Joe Snake Eyes Before we begin, remember to hit the like and subscribe and also the notification bell icon over there We were really asking ourselves like what our favorite characters in TV shows would do in their off work time because it's just not shown. On the screen, off we just see one part of the character and we don't know anything else about them. So we thought it might be interesting to showcase the off work aspect of what they might be doing. Going through G.I. Joe, we had like a few iterations on like what we should show him in to show him at his most relaxed state. During the concert phase, we actually had like a few different options on what he should be wearing but I think the bathrobe really showcases like the most casual and kind of really just a huge difference from his usual like full combat gear. Detail wise you know we were really like imagining what if this bathrobe was supplied to him by the company that he works for. We decided to include like the team logo here and also the Arashikage clan's logo here which he trained under and we also have like this snake detail embossing going all around him uh, I think that was pretty cool because you know like snake eyes so I thought it was also like kind of funny like a little pun in the comics he has like a wolf and I thought it would be kind of funny if he had these really cute fuzzy wuzzy slippers that he could relax in and they'd be like a cute version of his wolf. He has this like throat scar here that like is still maintained. We would stay true to like the story and give him like his throat scar underneath the helmet right here. We also included like his iconic helmet. I thought that might be really interesting like even in his rest you know he's still preserving his mask of like mystery. At first like nailing down the idea of who or what the heroes would do in their off time was pretty challenging just like conceptually to think about. I think we had versions of him when he was on vacation with his wolf as well but I think this ultimately the one in the bathroom really spoke very strongly of him being like just chilling off work and that was what we wanted to achieve with this so he has these interchangeable hands with little features of what he might have like you know he's got like a phone and everything and also this mug that says number one ninja in like comic sense because I thought it'd be really funny if he had like lame mugs maybe their gifts or whatever or you know that he had like this really competitive spirit and needed to be number one i thought that'd be like just somewhat funny the hands are swappable for a bonsai and the bonsai scissors here we chose the bonsai because i thought that snake eyes having spent so much time in japan would have picked up like a hobby or two and be able to train like various martial arts would definitely have to have a zen like state of mind and this would like train him to enhance the zen as for the colors i'll let our in-house painter kenneth talk about it hi i'm kenneth the product quality engineer from my jets so the entire process starts with 3d printing we need to print the entire model and then we need to very carefully send it several layers of sandpaper this ensures that the surface is smooth and looking as sharp as it can be before we proceed on with priming. Priming allows the paint to adhere onto the model. So for the priming process, we use a spray can to complete the process and thereafter, we're going to use an airbrush to do the blocking of the colors. This is done to spray up the main colors such as the flesh and first as well as the bath rope. Thereafter, we're going to go really really detail with the brush to finish up very fine details. So because the parts are separated, uh, there, there is no real sequence. We just usually go from the lighter colors all the way to the darkest color. So my favorite part about the figurine would be the little Easter egg, such as the scar across his neck. I would think that this little Easter egg would mean a lot for real G.I. Joe fans out there. So we've come to the end of our video. Off work G.I. Joe Snake Eyes is now available on our website. Go get yours now. See ya. Bye. Yeah, maybe, I guess like, we, it's possible that we might consider like Mr. Monopoly or Shrek.
I think Shrek would be a pretty good contender. 